known for this little man is Hollywood, California. He's Ottawa's Brian Stoller, and at age 20, he's already made 65 short films and won several film awards. He began almost a decade ago. At an age when most kids were just starting to go to the movies, Brian decided he wanted to make movies. And then at 13, I borrowed my dad's camera, his movie camera, from his drawer, without asking, of course. And I went outside and I filmed everything in sight. And I had found a new toy. Um, you know, the film came back and it was interesting to see that what I had filmed came back on film, you know, and I had, I had created something. But I wanted to create more and I started to combine the magic of my puppets uh, with the magic of illusion and I started to make special effect live action movies. When Brian was 15, he attracted the attention of a local CBC producer who asked him to co-host a short TV series for young filmmakers. Uh, in the meantime, this chap over here on my left is Brian Stoller. Uh, this uh, woman here on my right woman is Natalie Stoller. My name is Brian Shepard. Hope you enjoy. The special effects he refers to cover a lot of ground, but Stoller's expertise is in tabletop animation. This is a craft of which he is already a past master. Well, in tabletop animation, there's a lot of movements, a lot of animated movements that you have to do. Uh, in terms of the frog prints, I think I had about three to 4,000 movements, separate movements in the whole film. And, uh, it lasts about three, four minutes. Well, there's another type of filming that I do too, special effects. But I think the best way to, to actually tell you about it is to show you. So we'll go outside and I'll show you how to do it. Now I've tied the string to the pin here, so it's a lot easier just to stick it into the ball rather than trying to wrap the string around the ball. And it goes in just like that. One of Brian's fortes is special effects. In his low-budget films, often made for only a few dollars, he has to find innovative ways to create them. fingers so he should hold on to the umbrella on his own I find that making films is an excuse to have fun because it's not every day you can ride on the hood of a car filming or throw a dummy out of a 
nine-story apartment building, or throw superheroes around in the air, or just crazy things like that and get away with it. That was close. Look, down below, it's T.W.'s film house. Film Magic earned Brian a gold award last year at the Houston International Film Festival. And that's just one of a number of his awards. Still not content, Brian has expanded his production company, BMS Films, and is now making television commercials. Uh, and then my most recent commercial was for the Concordia Auto Body Shop. There was two that I did for them. And again, these are space epics with a space car flying through outer space. Uh, the other one is with, um, takes place on a sp space setting, space planet with moon rocks or space rocks that crush cars. On the road, anything can happen to your car. No, 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 well, when I was in Hollywood, I was extremely busy. I, um, I was working part-time at Universal Studios as a tour guide, and the other time I spent was apprenticing on the Incredible Hulk set, and I was working with Lou Ferrigno and Bill Bixby. And uh, my main job, actually, was the official Hulk duster. Every time he'd come through a brick wall, it was my job to stand up on a chair and dust him off. Tell you the truth, I dream about Hollywood all the time. Not, not because it's Hollywood, but I just dream about getting on the plane and flying back there where I'm, I feel I'm more accepted. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm, I want to work in film, and whoever offers me or wherever I can get work first, I'm going to go, whether it's in Canada or whether it's in the States. I guess maybe it's just my approach here. Uh, maybe it's just a matter of believing, because when I'm in the States, I believe that I can do. And I guess here I don't believe.